Thanks for joining us again, reporting from the Saturn Convention Center at the 30th Pan Pacific Conference. I'll be interviewing a couple of key speakers throughout the run of the conference over the next three days. And one of these people is Rose Luke from the University of Johannesburg. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks very much for having me. You um, did your talk earlier today on your paper regarding skills shortages as the barrier to the development of South Africa's global supply chains. Yes. Quite a wordy title there. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me in short what your paper is about. Well, it's, it's really about uh, South Africa's ability to trade, both with its neighbours and with the Pacific Rim and, well, I, I don't know why I said both, all of, all of them and the world. Right. So we recognise that we've got significant skills shortages in South Africa. They're well documented. We've also researched them. And we're looking at how do these skill shortages actually impact on our ability to trade. Right. Would you say that our um, ability to trade have, uh, has increased for the better or for the worse in the, in the last couple of years? Well, I think it's, it's problematic at right. this stage because the skill shortage is growing. We have less and less skills. Where we do have skills, they frequently very fluid, so they move overseas, uh, they get pinched by other countries, mm -hmm. and the skills gap is growing. So our ability to trade will become more and more problematic over the future. Right. And what kind of um, parameters have you set for, for maybe um, turning this problem around? Well, we've looked, at, we've looked at where the gaps are in industry. And industry is telling us that the gaps are all over the place. Yeah. And that in itself is problematic, which means that we need urgent interventions at all sorts of yeah. levels. One of them is at school level. Mm -hmm. We most definitely need to be introducing supply chain skills at, at school level. Many people don't know what it is. School, school students don't know what the supply chain is. So when they, when they leave school, it's not a natural option for them to go into the supply chain. Of course, beyond that, we find that uh, even if they were aware of it, we find that education institutions must also provide what industry requires because right. it's industry that's driving the economy. And unless we can provide the skills that industry requires, we're going to ha have a problem. So industry and educational institutions need to move a lot closer together. Right. Have you been looking at other countries in trying to learn lessons on how to tackle this problem? Yeah, very much so. Look, we're not really trying to provide solutions at this point. Right. We're still trying to find out exactly what the gaps are and, and, what, and we will be looking at what we can do about them. But I think we, we can safely say we started off our, our research by looking at what was missing globally right. in the supply chain. And to our surprise, we found that we're not alone. Right. There is a global skill shortage in the, in the supply chain, which is why we're really struggling to hold on to our skills. Um, we are looking at how other countries are attracting different supply chain skills, but of course, a lot of what they're doing is attracting our own supply chain uh, skills. So those right. tend to, to tend to move overseas, and that in itself is is a problem. But we need to look at interventions which were, where we can start to grow our own timber. Right. And really start to compete with the, with the world because we cannot just try and attract skills. We need to attract them, we need to grow our own trim, timber, and we need to maintain them. That was Rose Luke from the University of Johannesburg speaking on skills shortages in South Africa. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>